Hey guys, so today's video is basically going to be me catching up on my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm boxes. I have fallen behind. It's been bad. I'm really excited to see what I got in them. They've been kind of just sitting in a pile and I've been really wanting to film this and I finally got some time today. But if you're brand new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. And let's just go ahead and unbox these because this is going to be quite a bit of a long video because I have quite a bit to unbox right now. So I have just fallen behind on these boxes, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's just been a whirlwind over these last couple months. I feel like July will be like starting to finally get in order, but I think August is gonna be, everything will be back to a routine again, which will be really, really nice. But first off we have, oh, I love the back. It reminds me kind of like a starburst or something or like a sunset. It's really pretty actually. I love the pastel pink with the yellow. I think that's gorgeous. The first product that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag is, it looks like it's an SL Miss Glam brush. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is, Stephanie, you guys. Stephanie, my friend, is the owner and makes these brushes and they are just amazing and beautiful and I just love them. So, so excited to see one of those in my bags this month. And then let's go ahead and open it up. So I have the card right here and the card usually tells you what you got in your bag, but this is just giving me little tips on how to use different product or like how to use a powder, how to use a liquid, how to use a cream and a highlighter and all that. And then it also tells me about my add-ons and all that stuff. So I don't know, that's interesting. But first off, we have the Roller Lash from Benefit. I love this mascara. This mascara is one of my top favorites. My top favorite is the Thrive Cosmetics one. That one is bomb. This is right up there with it. It's got a nice pokey wand to it and it really lengthens and separates the lashes. I don't like stuff that clumps them up and that's why I love the roller lash. So that is one of my favorite ones. Then we have the Estate Do Me Baked Highlighter Powder and this is in the shade Bye. That sounds like Riley's bye. She always goes, bye. That's how she says bye. It's like the cutest thing. She's also in this little mode of where she wants to say hi to everyone. We're in the grocery store or something. She goes, hi, hi. And it's so cute. But then once they give her attention back, she goes like this. She gets like really shy. It's so funny. But anyways, this is the baked highlighter. This is really pretty. It's a gorgeous like champagne golden shade. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, that is really, really pretty. I'm actually gonna use this brush right here. It's a blender brush, but I'm gonna use this to pop on the highlight. You can totally use like brushes for anything. And when you use a brush like this for highlight, it's gonna make it a little bit more concentrated. But that is gorgeous right there. I didn't have any highlight on, so down to put some on right now. Next up, we have the Marc Anthony 100% Extra Virgin Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. It's a leave-in conditioner, detangle and hydrate dry damage hair into soft, smooth, healthy looking hair with biotin in it as well. So that is really nice. And then last but not least, we have the First Aid Beauty Fab Pharma Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. This is going to soothe and de-stress. I'm going to use this tonight. I'm very excited. And what's interesting about Arnica is this is what a lot of people told me is that it actually helps heal bruises. When I showed Riley's poor little shiner that she has my gosh she's gonna give me an early heart attack I'm telling you um everyone told me to do arnica cream so it's actually really good for that but I'm very stoked to try this out especially because my skin just completely freaked out I had to take um doxycycline for a procedure an HSG test and it has a like an effect of breaking you out. It's, they give it to you if you have acne and I've taken this before and I remember taking this before and I remember it breaking me out so bad in the past. And then it's supposed to like clear you up afterwards, but I only had three days of it and it just gave me cystic acne like everywhere. So I need to also do some de-stressing too. So I'm very excited about that. But that is all that I got in this bag this month. I actually kind of like it. It's a lot of stuff I would use. Like I like the highlighter. I already love the mascara. This detangler right here, leave-in conditioner, was actually really good for travel. And then I'm very stoked to try this because I love, love First Aid Beauty products. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm always happy to see an SL Miss Glam brush in my bag. So I'm, sto I'm stoked about that. That was actually a good bag for this month. We're just gonna go ahead and stick with the Ipsy side and then we'll get into the BoxyCharm side. So this is another bag that I have. This one, I don't know what bag is for which month, but this is actually really cute right here. Oh my goodness, it's a bunch of women just laying out. I love it. And then you have a cute little mint blue tassel right there. So that's gorgeous. And then we have Make Waves. Okay, so this is the June one. So this one is for June. And I should have looked at 
the card and actually read it. But again, this just says five tips to maximize your SPF. So it gives you a bunch of tips for SPF in here. And that's about it. Really nothing else there. Um, they must be changing that up. So the first thing that we have is a Pacifica Cherry Gold Highlighter and Blush Duo. It, this is cruelty free. Oh, this is pretty. I love these little duos. This is gorgeous right here. I love the shade of blush. I love blushes that are a little bit more cool tone. I love also warm tone blushes, but I love cool tone blushes. I think they're stunning. And then you also get a highlighter. And then what's great is you actually have a mirror on the back of it. So I love this little duo that you get. I've seen these quite a bit in the Ipsy bags and they'll just do them with like different products in them, which is great. So there is the blush. Oh, that is beautiful right there. And then this is the highlight. This highlight, I think I could use it more as an eyeshadow. And then, or even like a blush topper, I think would be pretty too. I'm actually gonna just take this brush that I have right here and I'm gonna dab it into there. I'm just going to pop it on my cheeks. I wanna see what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. I'm kinda just trying on makeup too, cause I noticed my makeup is actually starting to like kinda wear off for the day. That's actually really, really pretty. I really like that. So that is stunning. And then next up, we have the Suntique I'm Pure Perfect Sika. This is an SPF of 50 in here. So it's also dermatologist tested. So this will actually be great for just like your little beach bag. I'm always down to try out new SPF. Some of my favorite ones are, I love the Murad one. The, this one right here, actually I have in front because I use it every single day. This is the Murad Essential C Day Moisture. It has an SPF of 30 in it. This is the one, I'm like literally almost gone. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is my favorite one, but I'm always down to try out new ones. So this one will be fun. Then we have a Cellafit Double Effect Cleanser. It's an oil to foam and it's for dry, sensitive skin. Another great product to try out for travel. And then we have Real Her Girl Power Moisturizing Lipstick. This is shade Deep Mauve. I believe we've had this before. It sounds really, really familiar. So this is a little lipstick right here. Oh yeah, definitely have had this one before. The shade is beautiful. Let me show it to you. It's a gorgeous rose shade. I love this. Oh, so pretty. So we've got that. And then I believe that is it. So that is it for this box. So this was another good bag. I like the lipstick. This is the color that I'm gonna wear. It's gorgeous. I like the blush, really pretty. Um, we're gonna try out the sunscreen and see how that goes. And then we're also gonna try out the double effect cleanser that I'm just throwing around. But honestly, another just kind of good all around bag. I, I like it that it was a little bit of skincare and a little bit of makeup. So it was like a perfect balance. And I like this. Oh. I almost forgot, I almost forgot to show you one last thing. This is another thing I accidentally took out of the bag, but it is a pencil and this one is from Sugar. This is the Coal of Honor Intense Casual um, Sugar Eyeliner and this is an in 01 Blackout. So we got an eyeliner. Ooh, this eyeliner is creamy and it is black. It is black, black. This actually would be really nice. Like I feel like to tight line and to waterline the eyes because it's so nice and creamy and it just easily glides on, so it's not gonna tug, which is great. And I feel like it's also gonna be nice to also blend out too, if you wanted to create a smoky eye or something. So again, I think it was a good balance of a bag. Like I got quite a bit of makeup and just a little bit of skincare, which I really like. So that was another win for me. I think that was another good bag. Huh. That makes me happy. So far, we're starting off on a good note. All right, so next up we have the June Glam Bag Plus bag. And this is kind of like the same thing. They don't tell you what's inside. Why are they not telling us what's inside of this anymore with the prices? You're just giving me the same card that you gave me in my Glam Bag. I like the tips, that's cool and everything if I wanted to read a Cosmopolitan magazine. But in here, I wanna see what exactly I got and the brands and whatnot and the prices. <laughs> I don't know. So there's that. Um, but anyways, I actually got two packs of sheet masks, which I love. I love sheet masks. So this is an awesome surprise, but I feel like I should only have, I got, I got two packs. Let me know in the comments down below in your June Glam Bag Plus if you got two packs of sheet masks or if you just got one. I don't know if I got an extra or not, but it's basically the same one. So they give you three in a pack right here. Well, I guess that's kind of true because they usually give you two sets of, I don't know, whatever. But just let me know in the comments down below if you guys got two as well. But this is from the brand called Jaejun Cosmetics. So we have a calming mask, a brightening mask, and a nourishing mask. Like, I'm not going to complain because I love sheet masks. I love using one every single night. So I got six. So that is great. I like that. 
Um, next up, we have a product from Flesh, which is really exciting. I like their products. This is the Flesh to Flesh Highlighting Powder, and this is in the shade 310 Jump. So we got a full size highlighter here. This is the shade, this actually looks really pretty. Let's see. Ooh, oh my God, this is up my alley. Yeah, this one is up my alley. I love these light champagne shades. These are just beautiful and it feels so nicely, so nice too. I'm gonna pop a little bit on, pop a little bit more on. <laughs> but, oh, that is pretty, I like it. Okay, so that's a win. Next up we have, oh, we have a Ciate London. This is the Marbled Metals Metallic Glitter Eyeshadow. I've never seen these before, so this is interesting. This is in the shade Wicked. So it looks like this, it's a pot. Comes out like this. This is, I love these with like the hourglass, like these types of eyeshadows I think are so fun and just just really nice to wear on the lids. I, but this is the shade Wicked, so it's like a purple, a deep purple. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's got like specks of um, glitter in it that are like silver. So that's actually really stunning. Look at that, it's like a deep like eggplant plum purple. That is gorgeous right there and that's really nice. I love just popping these on the lid. And it actually feels really nice. It like goes right to a powder finish. So it's not gonna feel heavy on your eyes. And I don't think it's gonna crease either, which is gonna be nice too. So those are cool. I wonder if they have any like copper, like bronze shades or like champagne shades. Those are the shades I really love to wear. So that is neat. I didn't know that Ciate had that product. That's cool. So next up we have a Nasific Fresh Herb Origin, Origin Eye Cream with Calendula. I love Calendula. There was a shampoo and a body lotion that I used to use for Riley when she was a baby. And it was, I think it's from California Baby, but I don't even know if they make it anymore. And it was so nice, that Calendula in it, and it was just so moisturizing for her. And I just can't find it anywhere anymore. So now whenever I see Calendula, I just think about that lotion. But I'm excited to try out this eye cream. It is a pretty big eye cream, so this will be definitely one I'm gonna try out soon. And then we have the Araceli Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner in Coffee. So this looks like it's like gonna be a dark brown. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that just like flicked, it's like swish and flick. That was just like a perfect flick. It definitely is a dark brown, but this is really pretty. I actually think my sister is gonna love this. She wear, ooh. It doesn't bleed out and it dries a matte too. So if you like your eyeliners to be matte, you guys need to check this one out. I actually, I was gonna say, my sister would love this because she always wears eyeliner and she likes brown eyeliner, but I don't think I'm gonna give it up because I really like it. I think it's really nice. I love how matte it dried down. So that is really nice there. Um, and then this is the bag this month. So it's just basically the same size bag as the glam bag but it's green. Wah, wah. I don't like it when they do that. I just don't see the point in it. Make I like it when they do it like a medium size bag. I prefer that a lot more than just getting the same size bag as my glam bag. So this month, I mean, for the Glam Bag Plus, honestly, I think there were some good products in it, but I feel like it also wasn't worth the money. I feel like this is something I would probably like see in my glam bag rather than a glam bag plus so this was kind of a dip for me i mean i'm stoked about the sheet mask i think the ciate london eyeshadow is really cool and i like the highlighter and this eyeliner actually looks really nice and i can't really say much about the eye cream yet because i haven't tried it out but i think i i expected more i don't know i think i just had higher expectations for it so that's kind of a mid box for me this month. It's just okay. I guess the best way to describe that box was that it was a bit underwhelming for me. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into May's Glam Bag Plus. Kind of, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I just feel like you get used to get more in here or something. Am I, have I not done these in that long that I just can't keep track of these? I don't know, I, I, again, I was just feeling like I was gonna get more. Anyway, so so first off is the Vineyard Soiree eyeshadow palette from by Colored Rain. So I remember people used to talk about Colored Rain quite a bit in, back in the day. They had some good eyeshadow palettes, but it comes out like this. And then this is just really pretty purples right here. It kind of reminds me like the size of the Naked palette. You know how Urban Decay would make those little naked ones? 
those naked basics ones i think that's what they were called i love those so this is great so we just got some purple shadows here let's swatch some see what the quality is like oh they're nice let's do a matte the matte is kind of like okay matte's okay um the shimmer ones are definitely where it's at so this is what it looks like right here. So those are those purples. So the palette is just okay. And then we have a Mud Masky. This is the Aftermath Vitamin Serum. So this is extra smoothing, anti-aging, feeding, protecting, and nourishing pH balance. All right, so it says wash hands and face, apply a thin layer to your face, leave the serum on day or night. So it's just a serum, which is great. We'll have to try that out. Next up, we have a lip paint from Tarte. So this is the Tartist Lip Paint, and this is in Rave. I haven't used one of these lip paints in so long since they like were first launched. So this is the shade. It's kind of like a grayish purple right there. I don't know if it's something like, it's not something I would like wear right now, to be honest. It's something I would, if I went to a color like this, I would wear this in the fall. I wouldn't wear it in the summertime. So I wish that they would have done a little bit more of a brighter color there that could kind of go with the season. Um, and then we have Wander Beauty. This is the, oh, this is a clear brow gel. Sorry, I couldn't read it. It's a clear brow gel, so you just like coat that with your brows and keep them in place. I haven't tried out this product from Wander Beauty. I have a few products I like from them, so I will definitely give that a go. And then we have the Girlactic, which is nice to see here. This is their Skin Glow Duo. Like, they are loving the highlighters this time. Like, I feel like every bag has had a highlighter in it. So, oh, look at this. It's even got like a little blush duo in here. So it's Skin Glow Moonlight. Are these, I think this is a cream. But this is what it looks like right here. Oh, if it's a cream. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for this. I love cream products, you guys. Cream products are my jam right now. Oh, these are pretty. These are so pretty for the summertime. Okay, this is a win for me right here. Oh, my goodness. I really like that. I love cream products, and these ones feel amazing. So I'm very excited to try those out. I'll probably use those tomorrow. And then this is what the bag looks like for May. So this was the bag for a glam bag and this is a glam bag for glam bag plus. I mean, at least they should at least change the shape of it. I like the blue though. It's just, I like it when they give me like a little bit of a bigger bag. At least they changed the shape of it on that one. But again, this month is kind of just like, the glam bag plus is just underwhelming for me again. Like, I mean, it, there's some good products in there, but it's just a little underwhelming and it's just like, okay. I wish that they would have kind of picked a better color right here that goes more with the season. Um, but I am I have to say the one I'm most excited about is this product from Girlactic. I definitely really like that. But this one was kind of like another eh. Like at this point I would have already like said, okay, I'm gonna hold off on Glam Bag Plus because I just don't see it being that worth it. So it'll be interesting to, interesting to see what the Glam Bag Ultimate is going to offer. Dun da da, Glam Bag Ultimate. And this one I think is for May. So this is for May. So, Ipsy, bring back the cards with the products on them of what you get. I don't like this. <laughs> I like seeing my list of products as if I want to link things. It also makes me easier to do my description box and to look at the prices and everything. So, love you, Ipsy, but go back to the old way. Anyways, let's go to the Glam Bag Ultimate. There is a lot of product in here, you guys. So, this is definitely seems like it's going to be more worth it. So this is the bag this month, super cute for, for May. Little tassel on it. I forgot to show the tassel on the Glam Bag Plus, but that one also had a tassel. So I like this and I love the ombre. So this is a good makeup bag right here. So I love that. I love the Glam Bag Ultimates for their makeup bags because so many people have been wanting to like wondering like how can they get that cheetah one that I have or the leopard one. And it was from an Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. And I love that thing. I use it all the time. This was another Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate one. And this is another great little makeup bag. This is the one I'm using for my everyday makeup. Their Ultimate bags are bomb. Like I've been very impressed with them. So I think they're worth it. So first off, we have some sheet masks. And these ones are from Dr. Huang Beauty Lab. And so I have a Shea Butter Nourishing Mask. And then I also have a Hydrating Mask right here. So I love that. Love getting sheet masks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so very, very excited about this. This is a Sunday Riley product. This is the CEO CNE Micro Dissolve, Dissolve Cleansing Oil. I cannot wait to use this. I love cleansing oils. I like Sunday Riley. I have yet to try this one out. I'm very stoked about this. This is a big win. Love that. Yes. 
Next up, we have the St. Tropica Beach Goddess Hot Oil Hair Mask with biotin and hair superfood, stronger, thicker, thicker, lustrous hair. I'm always down to try out something that says it's gonna make my hair thicker. That's awesome. Um, known as the holy grail of hair masks, it's powerhouse formula of world-renowned hair superfoods paired with the heat of a hot oil treatment. So let's see, how would you even use this? All right, so basically how you wanna do this is you wanna place it in a mug, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, heat it up, put it all over your hair, put a shower cap on, and then sleep with it overnight and then shampoo twice to make sure that you get it all out like with the clarifying shampoo and you should see a difference. So that is actually a really cool product right there. How fun. Science experiment with your hair. Next up, we have Sugar Rush by Tarte and this is Sugar Coat and this is in Sprinkle. I haven't seen this before. This is their Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade Sprinkle. Oh, these are nice. I like this. It's like a very moussey texture. It's a pretty berry shade. I would like something, again, a little bit more brighter for the season, but I think it's pretty. I think the the mousse formula feels really nice and just nice and lightweight. So that's actually really nice right there. So I can't wait to try that out on my lips. Next up, we have a Pure Heels Pore Clear Black Charcoal Peel-Off Mask. So we have a peel-off mask. Next up, we have a Eau de Parfum, and this is She Was an anon Anomaly. Anomaly, Anomaly, Anomaly. Why can't I say that right now? I don't know, but that's what this is. It's a perfume. So let's see what, it's, what it smells like. Oh, oh, it smells good. I like it, good. Okay, wait, let me describe to you guys what I'm smelling. How can I describe this? It's got like a little bit of spice to it, I feel like. That's what I'm smelling. It's got a little spice to it and it smells very classy, I just like it. So that's what I can really describe about it, but it smells good. Doesn't give me a headache or anything like that. So next up we have an In Beauty Project. Glaze number one, this is a lip oil. So for soft, plump, and supple lips. Interesting here. Oh, these are always so much fun. So glaze number one, it's just a lip oil. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Oh my goodness, okay. It smells good, so that's what it looks like right there. Just a lip tint oil, very nice. We have that. Then we have an invigorating hand and body lotion. I feel like I just got like a sample from a hotel. You know where you have to, how the hell? There's no squeezy thing on this thing. How the hell am I supposed to get it out? And the bottle is like impossible to squeeze too. Do I just stick my pinky in there and go boop? That's what you gotta do, you gotta stick your pinky in there. Oh, that's an interesting smell. Sweet orange and LME, 100% natural. No artificial coloring or fragrance. It's got like a spice smell to it, I feel like. Um, I, it's reminding me of something, it's the orange. You know what, it's a citrus. That's what I'm smelling, because I had a citrus smell to it. So that's interesting, but I don't like the packaging. I think it's really hard. Next up, oh, I love these. These are the CoverShot Ablaze Eye Palette. I'm not gonna open this up because I already have one and I'm just gonna give this away to one of you guys. So I don't wanna ruin it, but this is my favorite palette out of the CoverShot ones that they came out with. They came out with a bunch of different colors. The Ablaze one is the best one. It's the most prettiest, I love this one. So I'm gonna save this one for a giveaway. Next up from Sundays, I believe we got a nail polish which I need right now. Oh, this is such a pretty color. I'm gonna paint my nails tonight. We're gonna paint my nails in this pink color. I love this, this is gorgeous. Okay, awesome. And then we have the Derm Medicine Weightless Face Moisturizer, and this has an SPF 25. I haven't heard of this one before, or this brand, but it's a daily face moisturizer, so that will be nice right there, and I like the fact that it's got an SPF in it, so we'll have to try that out. And then next up, I got a Foxy Bay brush right here, which I already have this brush. I think I got it from an Ipsy Offers when I used to work with Ipsy, so I already have this, so I'm gonna save this one as well for a giveaway, and boy, has it been beat up. Why are some of my boxes inside the box beat up? It doesn't make sense. Like, a few of my boxes on the inside were, um, were beat up. Why would they be beat up on the inside? They should be protected. I don't know, that's weird. But okay, so overall looking at this Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate, I think it was a pretty good one. I definitely have to say the Ultimate is the way to go. Like from what I saw with Glam Bag Pluses for two months for May and June, I don't think they're they're worth it. I feel like definitely just splurge and get the Ultimate instead. You get a lot more bang for your buck. Um, the products are great, they're full size. 
and to get like a good like diamond brand right here like sunday riley and stuff i really like we got a tarte product too in here uh, this was a decent box has it been my favorite box that i've ever gotten from ipsy for their ultimate no but i think it was a decent one i think there was some good decent products in here so i'm interested to see what is going to be for june i'm very excited to see what's going to be for june but this is not my favorite ultimate but it's not that bad either kind of like my best way to describe it now on to the last box for ipsy this is the the june one the june ultimate <laughs> sorry i was like try i don't know why i was expecting to get another card with with products about it in it but no not again so make waves <laughs> anyways um, oh, okay, let's go into this bag. So this bag is kind of like the same little design on it with the women on the towels. And then you have the bigger decent bag right there. I mean, that one's, yeah, that, that one's, this one's decent too. So that's another good makeup bag right there. And then we have some products in here. So let's, let's dig in. So we have the Douce Firmatic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. So these are great. If you guys have been around with Ipsy for a while, you know that we would get the free Matic eyeshadows from Doucet and they're like these little tiny ones and you can actually like pop them into like the palettes and stuff, but this one actually comes all done and these colors, oh my goodness, I'm, I love this. This is great. So they just pop out really easily. This is like the highlighter. I'm actually going to take that cover off of it, but this is the highlighter. It just pops right in and then boom here is your palette right there you got the highlighter and then you have the eyeshadows here and the colors are really beautiful so ooh, that highlighter highlighter is pretty but it comes out kind of patchy the highlighter is just okay i was expecting something a lot more creamier it's not my favorite um let's look at the shimmers right here this is that brown the shimmer shade right here let's swatch this oh that's pretty that's pigmented right there that's gorgeous so we have that and then let's go to a matte shade. The matte shade is nice too. I like that too. So honestly, looking at the shimmer shades and the matte, those are great. It's just the high, the highlighter that I'm not that impressed with. I can't wait to use these on my eyes. Maybe the highlighter will be a little bit better with a brush. So I can't really say a whole lot there, but I think this is a really nice palette. I like, I like the size of it. I like that it comes with a mirror and I like the colors. So I will tell you guys more about it later on once I use it and see how it applies with a brush. We have a Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. This is just one of their little sample ones. So that's great right there. We've got those quite a bit in the bags. Then we have an Il Ma Maquillage Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream. And this is in Matte Danger 406, which was, what's with all the the berry shades is that all we get is berry shades i like the nudes oh not my fave i can already tell this is going to be like not opaque when it dries it's gonna you know how some of these berry shades um the packaging is really nice so it's like a glass packaging like whew, that's that's the nasty but um you know how berry shades sometimes you got to be really careful with them because they dry down really patchy and you can tell on the lips so i don't know we'll we'll see with that one it's okay. I'm not that excited. I think it's because also I'm not a huge berry shade lover. I like I like nudes or pinks, so that's okay. Next up, we have a product from the Balm, and I love the Balm. This is Auto Balm Pick Perf, and this is Shadows on the Go. So what did you get here? So this is what the shadows look like right here. They're pretty. So we have a oh, there's a neutral primer in here, and then there's just some matte shades, and then there's some shimmers. Honestly, for me, like these are not shades that I'm gonna really gravitate to and use. So I'm actually just gonna give this away and not touch it because I don't wanna waste makeup because I know I'm not gonna gravitate to this palette. I like the balm. I've loved their stuff in the past. It's just that this is not my cup of tea for shade wise. So I don't wanna waste it. Next up from Dr. Brandt, we got the Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Ooh, I'm excited about this. I have not tried this. I'm gonna use this. I'll let you guys know what I think about it always down for a luminizing primer. So this is bomb. Okay, definitely gonna let you guys know about that one. We'll try that out tomorrow. Then we have Naked Cosmetics. So this is a, oh, this is a lip scrub. So we have a lip scrub right here. Little lip scrub. It smells moisturizing inside. It doesn't really have a scent. It just smells moisturizing. <laughs> and then we have, oh, this looks nice. Cella or Cella, I don't know how to say it, by Celine Ta Tadrisi. This is the Creme Rose, the very best cream rose 
I'm guessing it's a lotion. I'm guessing it's gonna smell very florally because it's rose. Have I tried anything from this brand before? I don't know, maybe, maybe we have. The, mo the lotion looks really nice, looks really moisturizing. Oh, it smells good. Oh my goodness. You guys know I'm a lotion girl. I love lotion. And it's, I like it that it's not like overpowering. It's like, you know, I was expecting to get like a big bunch of like rose, but no, it just smells really, oh, and also it feels good. Like it feels really moisturizing. It's not like super thick. I think this is a gr gonna be like a great day lotion, but it just smells good. I like it that it's not overpowering. So this is a win. I like that. Then we have a Spackle Mist Restore. It's a coconut water, so prime, set, and refresh from Laura Geller. Ooh, I like Laura Geller, so that was gonna be a fun one to try out. And then next up, we have a sample size of a Sunday Riley product. So this is the UFO Ultra Clarifying Acne Treatment oil, Face Oil. It has salicylic acid in it, and it's going to help prevent acne in blackheads. So that will be another one, to, fun one to try out right there. Then we have the Bio Race Pore Tightening Pearl Clay Mask. So we have a clay mask, which I will probably try out very soon too because I've been doing clay masks and then something hydrating afterwards every single night because my skin has been so broken out. Um, then we from Shayna B, we have a blush and highlight palette. Ooh, let's see what, what's in this. This is the blush and highlight palette from Shayna B. I see myself like, yeah, these are pretty. This rosa shade right here. Oh, this is really pretty. I like that blush right there. That one's gorgeous. So that's like a bright, colorful one. Here's a little bit more muted tone. This is called Brickle. So that's Brickle right there. I put them really close together, but there's Brickle. So that's a little bit more cool toned. And then we have Guava Glow, which is like a pink highlighter. And then we have Sugar Bomb, which is a champagne highlighter. So you guys can see those two next to each other right there. Those are pretty. So that's a good little palette right there. It even has a mirror to it. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about this. Ooh, we're gonna have to try this out. Have you guys tried out the Huda Beauty, the Basic B Straight Edge Sponge Applicator? I've never tried out this product before. And this actually feels nice. Ooh, it's a little stiff, but once you maybe wet it, it's probably gonna soften up a bit. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried the Huda Beauty sponge. I'm excited. I'll give that a go too as well tomorrow. I'm gonna make like a little pile here of what to get ready with. All right, so for this Ipsy Ultimate box is just okay for me. It's not like my absolute favorite box either. I actually think I might like May more than I like this one. Um, the eyeshadows and the palettes, I mean, those are okay. But yeah, I think the most thing I'm excited about in here is the lotion. I think that's the thing I'm most excited about. It was just like a, a meh, it was just meh. Like, I don't know, I, I don't know why I was expecting so much more. It just was meh for me. So I think I liked May's box better than June's. Comment down below what you guys got and what you've been loving. If, what, if you've been loving the glam bags or the glam bag pluses or the ultimates or just let me know. I would love to hear from you guys too, because I'm sure you guys also get Ipsy bags. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been loving and if it's been underwhelming for you or if it's been great. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I definitely have to say, like, I think so far out of the bags, like the best bang for your buck or like the best one was probably the glam bags, just the regular glam bags for what they're, are they $12 now? I definitely like the ultimate. I would like, from what I saw with the Glam Bag Plus, I would say skip on the Glam Bag Plus and go right to Ultimate if you wanted to get something a little bit more. Um, Cause I really like the bags in the Ultimate. But last month I think was better month than this month. This month was just okay for me. So yeah, anyways, that's it for Ipsy. Let's go ahead and move over to BoxyCharm real quick. Over there. <laughs> All right, so now getting into Boxy Charm, we're gonna start with the smallest one. I don't even know what is what, to be honest. So let's see what they did with this. So this is just, I think this is just the regular Boxy Charm. No card either. It's okay, it's okay. But oh my God, we got an hourglass in here. What? We got hourglass vanish flash highlighting stick. But they sent bronze flash. I know these. I did a campaign with Hourglass for these. That was like a really, really fun campaign, by the way. Um, that is too dark for me. I know Bronze Flash. That's not my shade. Why am I getting a darker shade in here? And why can I not? Wow. I love the fact that we got an Hourglass. Like that is awesome because these are bomb. These are so good. But I like the champagne color. The bronze is not gonna work for me. Look at that. It, that's gonna be way too dark for me. Um, I don't know why that's not going more to our, our, 
our skin tone. So that kind of bums me out there. Um, I don't know if there was a selection anywhere. I didn't see anything. So that's a bummer. So I'm gonna give this one away. So this is gonna go, this one's gonna be given away. But those are really good. Like they are beautiful on the skin. They're such, now it makes me wanna grab out mine. I think I've got mine over here um, and use it again. Cause you know how you're always trying out new products so you forget about old ones? And that was one of my favorites. So definitely gonna grab out my other one. <laughs> um, anyways, next up we have English Laundry number seven. So I'm guessing this is a perfume. It looks like this. It smells very fresh, like laundry. That's what I'm getting from it. It smells fresh like laundry. So there's that. And then we have some brushes here. And, ooh, Alamar. I haven't, Alinar, Alamar. I haven't heard of them before. This is a bronzer brush. How is this a bronzer brush? How would that be a bronzer brush? I feel like this is like a foundation brush. Maybe like a bronzer brush and like cream bronzer. I'm guessing. And then this one right here, this is a complexion brush. I would see that more as a bronzer brush because it's a little bit more angled and a little bit easier to get the contour with or whatnot. I don't know. And then we have a brightening brush right here, which I would actually use this for setting. Like, you know, setting, I guess, yeah, brightening underneath the eyes, I would use that for setting. So those are those, those are nice, they're okay. Um, then we have the Deborah Lip Man, and this is Fire on the Horizon Can't Stop Feeling. I think they're nail polishes, right? Yeah, they've gotta be nail polishes. I don't, I think what was confusing me was the Lip Man. So I was like, wait, are these like a lip product? But no, these are nail polishes. These are pretty. I actually really like this bubblegum pink one right here. I think that's gorgeous. And this is like a muted cherry. So that's, that's nice there. Then we have a product from Crown Pro, and I don't know what this is. Oh, these are pretty. These are eyeshadows. I like these tones. So these are from Crown Pro, and you got a big eyeshadow palette. So let's see what the quality is here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's got like a duochrome in it. Look at this. It's like a shift of like copper and then pink, like rose and pink. Oh, that's pretty. Or rose and copper, sorry. And then this is the matte right there. So these aren't too bad. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one to try out. And I like the colors too. So that's decent right there. That's cool. All right, so for the Box of Box this month was Hourglass highlighter, which wasn't even my shade, and I don't know if I even had the option to choose my shade, but this does not work for me at all, so that was a waste of a product, um, especially something so expensive. So I'm gonna be giving this away with, to one of you guys. I got uh, sample nail polishes, like two little nail polishes here. I got a perfume here. An eyeshadow palette that's like pretty. I like the colors, but would I have bought this on my own? Probably not. Um, and then three brushes that I honestly, they're just okay. I, I prefer, prefer my Sigma ones. So this was a complete dud for me. Like I would say the regular box turn box, not worth it just from looking at this. The Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was better than that. So um, yeah, I, I just wouldn't, that was not worth it at all. And I don't understand like if it's something with a shade, it needs to go with your profile and this is not my profile. So that's just way too much right there. But that's a bummer. Sorry, Box Charm. I don't mean to be so harsh, but it was just meh. All right, so next up we have Box Charm Lux. And just opening this up right here just looks so relaxing and so nice and it's making me crave coffee. But I have cut coffee out. I stopped drinking coffee like cold turkey. I don't want to drink it anymore. As you guys know, we're on like, oh, it's, it's tea actually. See, that's what, you know I really want coffee if things are just looking like coffee and they're not coffee. But uh, I'm missing coughing right now, but I've cut it out completely. Um, this one is called The Oasis, and guess what? They've got a little card with what you get in here and the prices. That is so nice to see. So this is the BoxyCharm Lux. So first off, we have a Bodyography Professional Cosmetics. This is a lip pencil. It's got two of them, so it's actually two lip pencils. That's really cool that they did this. So there's one that is actually a lighter shade and then one that is a darker shade. So this would probably be like, this is probably for like, you know, if you want to shade and define your lips, I think would be great. So this is Pouty. Ooh, I like Pouty. Ooh, that's gonna be one I'm gonna go to. I like that. So we have Pouty there and then we have Rosewood here. These are stunning. Those are really pretty. They're a little like rough because it's like a real pencil one. So it's a little rough, but I think it will be fine. 
Um, but I think the colors are really gorgeous. So I'm excited to try those out on the lips. And that's really cool that there was two of them in there. So that's awesome. Next up, oh, we've got a Tartist Pro palette. I love this palette. And I have gotten, I feel like I've gotten this in BoxyCharm before, right? Right, haven't we gotten this in BoxyCharm before? I mean, it's a good palette. I love the shadows of it. And I've had this palette so many times. So I'm actually gonna give this one away because I don't need any more. Um, but it's a great palette. That is awesome to see that they put that in there. But I feel like we've gotten this before in BoxyCharm. Comment down below if I'm incorrect. I would love to hear from you guys, but that's still an awesome win for right there because that's a good palette. Next up, oh, we've got a Kylie Skin product here. Okay, so everyone talks about Kylie skincare and I've never tried it out. This is the Foaming Face Wash. I'm curious to see, because it says that this one is not supposed to feel like it's stripping the skin. It's not supposed to feel dry. It's got vitamin C and vitamin E in it, and also ultra nourishing kiwi seed. So it's supposed to be more nourishing. So I'm gonna try this out. I'll let you guys know about this on how it works for me. Next up, we have the Malangoettes. Whenever I see Malangoettes, I always think of Delta. If you're fi flying first class or if you're in the Delta lounge, everything is Malangoettes. So every little time I see Malangoettes, I think of Delta. And this is their recovery treatment oil. So this is our fast absorbing treatment. It's formulated with a blend of nine antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Very stoked about this. I am definitely gonna have to try this out. We've got quite a bit of skincare to try out. I'm gonna have to have everything in a little line and we just kind of rotate here and there, but I'm stoked for that, so that's cool. We have a charcoal brush set. Bristles infused with charcoal for antimicrobial effect. Oh, that is interesting. So this is from Billion Dollar Brushes. So in here we have the powder brush, contour brush, concealer brush, eyeshadow brush, and highlighter brush. So I'll take one of them out for you guys to kind of take a look at. But those are neat. Huh, that's interesting. These actually feel like a lot better than the other brushes in the other box that I just opened up from BoxyCharm, so that's nice. Then we have No Por No Problem. This is from Touch and Soul. This is their Prime Essence. It has, oh, it's got Calendula in it. <laughs> um, that is so neat. Okay, I'm excited to try this out. So this is a primer from Touch and Soul. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely use that, especially because it's got Calendula in it. Next up, from Smile Sciences, we have RX Strength Teeth, Night, Teeth Whitening Pens. Definitely one I need to try out. I need to whiten my teeth, so we'll have to give that a go. And then there's also a Kylie coupon in here. Enjoy $5 off your next um, Kylie's next purchase. So if you guys wanna use Boxy5, you can get $5 off when you purchase Kylie skincare products. Last but not least, what I thought, I, did, I almost missed this one, but this is the Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. This stuff is so good. I love this. It's just really nice. It's in a stick. I have it in this one and also the rose quartz one, like the pink one, and it's so cool. And you just rub it underneath your eyes and it just feels so good. This is a great little product. Like even if you're going to the beach and you're not wearing any makeup and you just wanna hydrate those under eyes, you could throw that in there. Um, it's really quick and easy to do right before your makeup and it's just really refreshing even at night. And I love Tula. Tula is one of my favorite products. So I have to say, Lux wins. It would be nice if they had a bag, but they win. Definitely win here for me. I feel like a lot of great high-end products in here. And then ones that I'm very excited to try out. So I definitely have to say BoxyCharm Lux has taken the cake for me out of all of them so far. I think this was a good one. All right, so premium here. So, so nice. We got a card too again. So this is with Oasis. I don't know what month this is, but it's, it's gotta go with the Lux one. And I think Lux only comes every quarter. So yeah, so far Lux I really like, but this is the BoxyCharm Premium. This is the Baddington brush set. So we got another brush. Oh my God, I'm so, I've got so many brushes now, you guys. But the, oh, these ones feel good. These feel real good right here. Oh, those are nice. Look at that. Those ones feel good. So this is like a two little brush set right here. It has a contour foundation brush and a powder brush in here. Then we have the Inkwell Liner, Longwear Matte Eyeliner in Trooper Black. Which one is this? Is this the one from, this is from Kat Von D. And honestly, her, oh, I haven't tried this one. It's like one of those other, it's not like a liner pen. So, oh, I'm excited to try this out. I love her, um, 
Oh my god, I haven't used it in so long, so I don't even remember the name of it. But I love one of her eyeliners in Trooper. It's a great eyeliner. It's probably one of my favorite ones on the market, but I've never tried out this form of her eyeliner, so I'm excited about that. Next up from Milk Makeup, we got a Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. This is a sheer blush and lip stain packed with hydrating rice bran oil for a shimmering wash of color, and it's in the shade Halo. Ooh, this looks nice. Ooh, it feels good. Oh, this is really nice. So there it is right there. That's like a really pretty wash of color. Ooh, I like that. Mm, I like this, this is nice. That is actually really pretty. I like that a lot. And then we have the Skin & Co Sardinian Spirit Shower Gel. So we got a shower gel. And then next up we have, oh, a Glow Recipe of Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask right here. I've gotten this from Glow Recipe already, so I'm gonna give that away to one of you guys. And then, oh my goodness, we've got a Too Faced product here. Too Faced Cocoa Contour and Highlighting Palette. I don't think I have this. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about this. This is so nice. All right, so here are the bronzing shades right here from, or the contour shades from the palette. I think they're nice. Honestly, I didn't get much payoff with this one. They're just like, okay. They smell like, they smell like cocoa powder. Like it smells like the Nesquik like powder if you were making chocolate milk, that's what it smells like. And then these are just like highlighting powders down here. So I think this is like an okay contour palette, but I'm gonna have to try it out and use it. But I mean, wow, I haven't gone, I haven't even seen that Too Faced made this. I am like really out of the loop, like really, really out of the loop. That is everything in this BoxyCharm Premium box. All right, so overall with the BoxyCharm Premium, I think it was a good one. I think this one was definitely a good one. We got some pretty good brands in here. We got Too Faced, we got Glow Recipe, Milk Makeup, Cap on D. Baddington Beauty and Skin and Co. Like, overall, I think it was a really well-rounded, good box. And I've got some products in here that, like one, I like this little cheek and lip tint right here from Milk Makeup. I haven't tried that out before. And then I'm excited to try out this liner from Kat Von D. So I'm impressed. I, that was a good one. So far right now, I say, and I think I've said this a bit, if I can remember well back to when I was consistent with these boxes, is that the box return boxes have gone a little but the premium and the luxe are good. So I would not waste your time with the box charm box. All right, so we're finally on the last one. <laughs> this is the last box charm premium box. I don't know what month this is for. I did not get a card in this one at all, which is very strange because the other ones gave me a card. What's up with the inconsistency right now? I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> but this premium box, this is interesting. I'm looking at the products in front of me. First off from Skin & Co. We got another Skin & Co product. So as from the other one, we got this gel. Um, this is the Eye Concentrate. Oh, this is gonna be nice. It's a truffle therapy eye concentrate. So it's after cleansing your face and using truffle therapy serum, use your ring finger to apply a generous amount of truffle therapy eye concentrate. So this is in eye cream from Skin & Co. So that was a brand right there. Then from Pure Heels, we got their Contella 90 Ampule. I hope I said that right. I don't even know if I did, but what does this do? Um, it says after cleansing, even out skin tone with a toner and apply a moderate amount of product onto face, gently pat for better absorption. So it looks like it's a serum. So after you're done with everything, put this on last. Um, that's interesting. And then we have, oh, Sugar Rush from Tarte. This is best, but oh, it's a lip butter balm and peony right here. Oh my God, look how cute this is. <laughs> Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I'm gonna put you on right now. Mmm. Oh my God, it smells good. It's vanilla. That's nice. Love that. Another love of mine is lip balm, so I like that a lot. And then I got another milk makeup of the same type that we got in the other box. So one of these is May and one of these is June. So I got the same product but a different color. That's a little weird. I mean, if I wanted a different color, this one I'm actually, I may save this one for a giveaway, oh, but this looks so pretty. It's like a really pretty neon coral. Um, I'm not gonna swatch, I'm gonna decide on if I wanna give this one away or not. I think it looks pretty. I, I like the product, so I'm down to have it in another shade, but this is in Flare right here. So that's interesting though that we got the same product, but just a different shade in a different month. Um, another Kat Von D product. I feel like these are so, like the brands are the same. 
The brands are the same. So this is a Kat Von D 24 hour super brow longwear pomade in dark brown? Why am I dark brown? Why am I dark brown? I need to go back up on there and check, but I know I never put dark brown as my hair color. So I'm confused. I'm gonna give this away. That's a bummer. I really wanted to try that out. Uh, last but not least, kind of sticking with the same trend of last month's box, now we have a Too Faced product. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really pretty palette. Let me show it to you guys. I'm not going to swatch it because I do have it already. It's a really pretty palette. I They came out with like two different ones of these and I have them both already. But that's what that one is. It's really pretty and I think it's great to have a Too Faced palette and that is like colors that you would wear on a consistent basis. All right, so this box is actually pretty decent, but it's kind of interesting how it's like the same brands, just different products or different shades. So I find that very interesting there. But I mean, it was a pretty good month. Um, definitely if you go the BoxyCharm route, go premium or luxe. Don't waste your time with the BoxyCharm. I feel like it's just really gone downhill and that like really crappy. Ipsy, I like the regular glam bags, which I think is great. Like if you don't have the money to fork out every single month, more than $12. I think you can try out a good amount of products with the Ipsy Glam Bag, just the regular one, but I love their ultimate. I would say either that or their ultimate, I think it is worth it. But it was kind of nice doing two months, like all in one video, cause I really got to see like, how consistent are these? Like, and then get to see, are they using the same brands constantly? Like I thought that was interesting, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what is your guys' favorite box and whatnot, I love hearing from you guys and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.